It's our ranch. We gotta take care of it. As Jack gets older, he's gonna want to do this kind of work less and less. Oh, what are you guys doing out there? Were they talking about the dog? We won't have to kill this one, will we? She's my favorite. One day, we might have to, yeah. If we need the meat. Oh! I ain't doing it. I, I can't. I, I, I ain't tough like you. It's all right. I won't make you do anything until you're ready. I didn't even realize Jack was in here. Want to talk a little bit, Jack? These aren't pets, boy. They're our livelihood. But I, I can't... I can't just turn off my feelings, Pa. You can, actually. And you're gonna have to, too. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it, then. Okay, sir. Well, it's a sign that he has empathy. Wouldn't knock on him too hard for that. Okay, who wants to get milked? Let's milk some cows. Oh, so methodical. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not sure what's wrong with the stool, but okay. Ain't nobody gonna put in the work around here, if not me. So we gotta do this. Wow, we got some horses, we got some cows. We have a pretty nice now, don't we? <sighs> if only Arthur and Hosea were here. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Are you allowed to walk out here like that? Whoa! That was one heck of a U-turn. Is that uncle? All good there? Pretty good, thanks. Oh, that's good, I suppose. I wish it was you got snake bit, not the dog, uncle. That snake's lucky I didn't bite it. <laughs> if it does happen to you, you can suck your own poison out. Don't mind me. Okay, take care. <laughs> Where's the kiddo? He's busy. Well, let's not disturb him then. Have we written anything new in our journal? No, this is still the last page. Maybe it's because I haven't slept at all yet. Can I sleep here? Abigail's right here. Hold on, Abigail. I'm just gonna have a sleep. No, I don't know why, but we can't sleep anymore. I can only fast travel. Oh, oh, okay. I never use that option, but um, you have to be on this side of the bed. And you gotta R1 this. I will sleep for a while. Feel like I'm pretty thin now. I haven't been eating well ever since Abigail left. Nobody cooking for me. Yeah, look, my weight dropped again. Abigail and Jack came back. Whole of my life suddenly makes some kind of sense. If only I could pay off these damn debts. And if only I could have been a different man all these years I wasted being a fool. 
something something wisdom comes with experience and age. Don't worry too much about it, man. You're the way you are now because of all the things you've gone through. Is that the letter I gave her? Oh, letter from Tilly. Dear Abigail and John, I hope you're both well. It's me, Tilly. Tilly Jackson, as I was, and Tilly Pierre, as I now am. I'm a married woman, and more than that, I am a mother. I have given birth to a beautiful little girl, and so far she is doing well. My husband is a lawyer from Haiti, and I live in a fancy house in town. I'm very genteel, and we have servants. How you would laugh at me if you could see me. I feel like the biggest fraud alive, but my husband, who is a very understanding man, tells me everyone is a fraud, and we are all the same underneath, and I know he speaks the truth. I miss you both, and I was so happy to learn you are well, and I hope Jack is too. He must be so big by now. I miss him, and I think it was that time I spent being an aunt to him that made me want to be a mother myself. You were quite right, Abigail. It is the greatest feeling alive. In spite of my happy life and my immense good fortune, a part of me misses the old days, something rotten. Silly old Miss Grimshaw and angry Mr. Pearson. And kindly Hosea, who was like a father to me. And you both, and poor dear Arthur, and all them bastards. And Karen, who was like a sister to me, and who I miss every day. I never heard what happened to her, but deep down, I know the drink did for her. I still see my darling Mary Beth, who is now a lady novelist, which both surprised me and did not surprise me at all, if that makes sense. I just wanted to share my happy news with you, for you are my family, only one I really got, aside from my husband and baby girl. Yours, Tilly. I don't know why reading that letter got to me a little bit. It's just... Tilly talking about the old days and... <sighs> uh, I don't know why I'm feeling so sad suddenly. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Okay, let's move on. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> you Sadie! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I... Sorry, I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah! I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought, 
John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. I hate that we're doing this to Abigail again. It never ends. You want to work? Let's do it. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Yeah. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. You're not married? It was. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No. Me neither, but <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. Yeah. No, n not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. But when you lose it, it makes you even sadder, doesn't it? Well, let's not be so negative. We're cutting off the main track up here. By Manzanita Post. <sighs> not here again. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. So, we're coming up <laughs> on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Why does John keep saying that line about bounty hunting? I've heard it like three or four times now. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. Take our guns, just in case. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. I love Sadie's laugh. It's that way, I'd say. Great. I feel like we're getting into Skinner territory here. Damn it! I've lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? This way? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. What's with all the lights over there? Guess we're not going there today, though. It keeps going through here! This house? There might be a bear here, so we should be careful. Oh god. Is that our target? Maybe not? My god. 
crap. Ugh, well, ain't pretty. Oh, boy. That our fella? Maybe. Oh. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. No shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh, oh God! <laughs> Jesus! I'm sorry, I'm gonna put like 20 shots in you. I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. <sighs> Abigail's gonna be angry. That one was pretty dangerous. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Sorry, Sadie. You was gonna say something. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, <laughs> we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there... Keep talking. Uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. <laughs> I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. <laughs> I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop him! Damn, fool! On. Can you pick it up, please? Sure, boss. Can we go now? Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. 
And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. If we need the money, we're not gonna think about if it's right or not. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something oh, we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. If you Here pursue my god... Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, hitch up. You and Abigail are gonna really suffer for it. Your relationship. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. I love that snort laugh thing Sadie does. I remember she did it before when she was talking to Arthur too. It's pretty distinctive. Shoot the bear four times. Headshot both the rival bounty hunters and Deadeye. I don't really like using Deadeye if we can avoid it. So that's a hard one for me to do. Abigail is looking for me, isn't she? Oh, she'll be angry. She said explicitly not to look for Micah. So if we go do that, I don't think she'll like that very much. A new future imagined. Whoa, is that a photo studio? I should get my hair cut. It's a little bit long. Okay. Before we... um, You know, we still haven't explored a lot of this. Should we go look around a little bit? I think there is a stranger mission somewhere around there. So let me try heading and see if we can do something there too. Okay, I'm vaguely in the area now, but it's like 4 in the morning and I don't think anyone's around yet, so I'm gonna set up camp here. Got your hair, Whoa! Boy. <laughs> oh, you got lucky there. But next time you come around these parts, you lose your top and more than that besides. Next time I won't let myself get bushwhacked. Mock me, boy. You weren't so brave a minute ago. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. We don't want to kill them? No. Oh! But I tore down the camp right away. Dang, I didn't even get to sleep yet. Oh, there they are. Freaking get them. Freaking get them! Where's the other guy? Done. Done deal. You're too big of a threat to my family. Just because you let me go doesn't mean I'm going to let you go. Have you noticed how these people always have dynamite in their inventory for whatever reason? It's kind of scary. Uh, can I still make a camp? God, I'm kind of worried now. I didn't know that could happen! Us getting ambushed here? Okay, we're okay this time, right? We'll set up a tent. It's almost morning time already, and I'm just setting up tent here. I'll sleep until noon, I guess. 
Bit of a outdoor power nap. Good to see we were okay this time. I thought it said I got a new page, but I don't see a new page. It said new journal. Hmm. Well, whatever, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think we have to walk around a little bit to see if there is a stranger around here. But I should probably tear this down before we go home. And do we have any type of raw meat we can cook? I've been making John eat a lot of like canned beans and stuff. So it would be nice if we could get some meat. I'll stow it away. Put it right over that fire. Just like the Skinners did to Uncle. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, I'll eat this one. Nice, nice. Let's get going then. Good girl. Let's go. Hey, here it is. My marker was really close. You know, this landscape, these views, this America... Evelyn Miller! It holds us tight. And once we've seen it, we'll never know ignorance again. Maybe. It is that beauty, which really is the eternal beauty that is truth. This is God. Not the proof, but the thing. Not his work, but him. Wonderment is our morphine, I suppose. All us Americans dream of places. They are our god. Our dreams. Us, perhaps. I suppose. Forgive my crude naivete, but are you a cowboy, sir? Not really. Kind of. I am that most worthless of all creatures. A writer. A second guesser of our creator. A dreamer of others' dreams. Okay. Evelyn Miller. Evelyn Miller? Dutch's idol. A man I knew. He was a great lover of your books. Thank you. But you're not? Most went a little over my head, I'm afraid, but some of the bits he read stuck with me. I'm a terrible fraud, sir. Your friend was deceived. I am God's blithe plaything. And what a feeble game he has begun in me. My mentor? Never saw things quite like that. You know, I used to write in a study and teach at a university. I taught some Connecticut fops how best to appreciate their topiary. Oh, I was a gilded ape. I loathe the man I was. The man I am. Uh, guess we all live with certain ways of coping with what we've done in this life. I enjoyed our conversation. There's a truth in you, sir. A rare truth. Treasure it. I'm I'm living in a cabin over near Tanner's Reach. Come by sometime. Maybe we might talk some more. Maybe I shall. Good day. Well, you better let me know then. I think we're fairly close to the end here, so you really better let me know. Oh, can we say anything else to you? Please, if you'd leave me to write. Sorry. And of course, 
We've skimmed through that copy of American Inferno that Dutch had in his room. He seems to love Evelyn Miller. There's my girl. I wonder if Jack has read anything by him. Out of curiosity, what is the percentage at now? Yeah, 98%. At maximum, we would have like, what? One or two more quests left? So maybe I'll just uh, take this chance to look around a little bit while Evelyn Miller calls for me. Because we're still not at the edge of the place here. We still got this whole location here that we haven't really checked out properly. I'll just set a marker here and head towards it. How about that? Yeah, this goes down quite far. But for some reason, the quests don't seem to go down that far. They've been pretty constrained to just Blackwater. What? He's strong. Oh god, there's a bear here. We gotta get out. I know we're going opposite the way of the marker, but I don't really want to be mauled by a bear again. No, thank you. Oh! There was a white dot just now. Nothing? What's that? Hey, hey, easy! Someone lost all their stuff? Uh, okay. Is there anything we can interact with, or is it just a random... Hmm. There's some rabbit trails. John said, what's that, though? So I feel like I should be finding something here, but, uh... It just seems like somebody left all their stuff here. What's that sound? Slow it! Oh, someone's yelling up there. Something ain't right. Easy now. Oh god. It's a lot of dead people. Did you get the guns? John! John, you gotta get the guns, all right? Oh, god damn it. Who goes there? Oh. He didn't get to say anything. It's the Skinners, isn't it? Again! They put someone over the fire. Oh... Oh, I shouldn't be looting him. It's bad honor. <gasps> Did we come here too late? Look at that. Arrows and people and... Oh. I wish I could at least take the body off here. These people were just traveling, and the Skinner brothers were in dangerous territory after all. Charles was all like, oh, I'm sure we got all the Skinner brothers, most of them anyway. It's not true at all. Very unfortunate. Hmm. This just means that if we come across any Skinner brothers, we'll have to kill all of them. 
Oh. Guess I'll take this. Did you just get it? You know what to do, girl. What the heck? Stay calm, girl. Ugh. Perfect fox pelt. We're off. I don't know if I want to bother with lugging the corpse around, but I guess so. It's a fox. Oh. Oh, because I guess it's considered stealing someone's stuff. Although, to me, I felt like I was just making use of the things that these people would never use. Damn, though. Okay, well, that probably means we should just get going then. If I can sell the fox, great. If I can't, then whatever. I don't care. How far along am I in my walking around here? Not that far at all. We've been around here, Manzanita Post. That's where Niels is. Bear Claw. I'm not sure if we've been to Bear Claw before. Might have been there one time with uh, Sadie. But yeah, for the most part, I'm just gonna wander around here, see if anything new crops up. I think there's a town somewhere. Maybe we don't get any missions there, but uh, it'll be nice to see it. Just uh, have a little bit of a visit. And then hopefully by then, Evelyn Miller will be looking for me. And Zanita Post. Sir! Howdy. You think he wants to talk? Does he want to sell me anything? Does he want to talk? Should we go in his house? It's locked. Oh! Hi, miss. Your appearance is odd to me. Relax, I ain't causing trouble. So, <laughs> how are you? Right. I'll just try and carry on then. How the gods? Yeah, they uh, what are they again? Like Norwegian or something? Hey, Mister. Good day to you. You all right? Ikke så værst i dag. Always <laughs> pleased to hear it. Farvel. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. Hey, partner. I love listening to you. It's a real pleasure. I guess they're just gonna do their thing here. Okay, well, it's nice to come across these people. They seem nice. Although they live here, it's kind of scary, isn't it? Ma'am? That's an awful lot of blood, even for a butcher. Yeah. Don't you worry about me. Anyway, I hope you're okay there. Yeah. Okay, let's get back on the road. Rachel? Rachel reminds me of Agro a lot. Down to the little spot on her forehead. Hello, oh, Rachel's getting bloody too. Poor girl. 